Hello and welcome to today's topic, metformin. Metformin is an oral hypoglycemic agent that causes little or no hypoglycemia in non-diabetic subjects and even in diabetic persons. It is a biguanide anti-diabetic. Action of metformin is to lower the glucose concentration present in the blood. Mechanism of action of metformin. Metformin inhibits the gluconeogenesis in the liver by acting on the adenosine monophosphate activated protein kinase, the AMP activated protein kinase. This suppresses the hepatic gluconeogenesis and the glucose output from the liver. This is the major action responsible for lowering of the blood glucose in diabetics. It may also enhance the tissue sensitivity to insulin. It increases the glucose uptake into tissues, enhances the insulin mediated glucose uptake and the disposal in the skeletal muscle and the fat. Insulin resistance exhibited by the type 2 diabetics is thus overcome. This translates into glycogen storage in the skeletal muscles and reduced lipogenesis in adipose tissue and enhanced fatty acid oxidation. Metformin also retards the intestinal absorption of glucose, other hexoses and amino acids and vitamin B12. Pharmacokinetics of metformin. It is given orally, mostly excreted on change in the urine. It is awarded in patients with renal insufficiency. One and a half to three hours remains is the plasma half-life. A dose of 0.5 to 2.5 gram is given once or twice daily. Clearance of metformin approximates the glomerular filtration rate, the GFR. It accumulates in the renal failure and thus increases the risk of lactic acidosis. Advantages of metformin. Metformin is not hypoglycemic, weight loss promoting, has potential to prevent macrovascular as well as microvascular complications of diabetes. There is no acceleration of beta cell exhaustion or failure in type 2 diabetes. The anti-hyperglycemic efficacy, that is, there is reduction in glycated hemoglobin index, that is the HbA1c index by 0.8 to 1.2%. Clinical uses of metformin. It is used in type 2 diabetes mellitus alone or with other oral hypoglycemic agents. It is particularly useful in obese patients. Metformin has been found to improve ovulation and fertility in some women with polycystic ovary. Adverse effects of metformin. Side effects with metformin are frequent but generally not serious. Abdominal pain, anorexia, blotting, nausea, metallic taste, mild diarrhea and tiredness are the usual complaints which tend to subside with time. Metformin, unlike the sulfonyl ureas, does not cause hypoglycemia except in case of overdose. It may rarely cause potentially fatal lactic acidosis. Small increase in blood lactate occurs with metformin. Vitamin B12 deficiency due to interference with its absorption can occur with high dose of metformin. Contraindications of metformin. Metformin is contraindicated in hypotensive states, heart failure, severe respiratory, hepatic and renal disease as well as in alcoholics because of increased risk of lactic acidosis. Drugs like cimetidine, 
prusimide may compete with metformin excretion and enhance its toxicity. Here we can clearly see the action of metformin, preventing the gluconeogenesis in liver, acting as a hypoglycemic agent. To conclude, a thoughtful quote, pain betic warning, sometimes too much sweetness is injurious to health. You may suffer from breach of faith and heartbreak type of diseases. Maybe you have to take a daily dose of pen insulin. The strongest people are those who fight unseen battles. Thank you.